that says, your patient's oxygen tank contains 0.650 moles of gas at 730 dot millimeters of mercury pressure. Um, if you added oxygen until the final pressure was 1.15 atm, how many moles of oxygen did you add to her tank? Okay, so how do we do this? Well, this hopefully you guys can tell this is a gas law ex expression, guys, if you don't mind. A gas law expression, right? And in particular, it's Avogadro's law. Um, so, well, the way I like to do these is to take your PV equals NRT and we know that it's changing, right? So we're adding some moles to this and the pressure is changing. Okay. So let's write down, so well, well, let's write down the things that it gives us first and just confirm that information. So it says that the original number of moles of gas uh, is 0 0.650 moles. And it says the original pressure, 730 dot millimeters of mercury. And then it asks, how many moles of oxygen did you add to her tank? Okay, so that's going to be another series of problems that we'll have to do in a second. But it tells you that the final pressure is 1.15 atm. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see, right, that the number of moles is changing and the pressures are changing. So that means, bless you, we're going to take PV equals NRT and divide it by PV equals NRT. So we put little ones at the top, twos at the bottom. Remember, R never changes, so uh, that cancels out. In this case, the temperatures stay the same, so that cancels out. And the uh, volume has stayed the same because it's in like a gas cylinder. So the pressure has changed and the number of moles have changed. So let's rewrite our equation. P1 over P2 equals N1 over N2. And currently we're looking for N2, although that's not going to be the final answer. Okay, so let's rearrange our equation. N2 equals N1 P2 over P1. So do we have all of those numbers? Yes, but unfortunately we have these in two separate um, pressure units, okay? So we're going to have to convert one of the pressure units to the other pressure unit. I prefer to work in ATM, so let's just do that. And that conversion would be given to you. It might be called four. Okay, so when we do that, we get 0 0.961 um, ATM. So we have the initial pressure, final pressure, and the initial number of moles. Okay, so in order to do that, of 
course, you're going to have to take this number, so which is the number of moles that's total, and take, well, remember this equation. It's going to be the initial number of moles plus the number of moles that were added, right? So in order to figure out the number of moles that were added, right, it's going to be the total minus the initial, and in this case, 0 0.778 moles minus 0 0.650 moles. And the answer would be one or zero point one two eight moles of gas or O2 oxygen were added. Okay. So that's again one of those kind of problems that if you um, if you don't uh, do everything, uh, I don't. Uh, think about what the problem is saying, you'll get it wrong, okay? Okay, are there any questions about this one? Okay. Questions? 